very expensive and also uh, the budget of a lot of these coaches customers who they're currently working with it's affecting them as well so in this video I'm going to answer a lot of doubts that you might have in terms of a price increase how to increase pricing when to increase pricing and how to offer alternatives to the the customers that you currently work with so you don't lose them but you keep them in your program and you keep them as loyal committed customers Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to evaluate the cost of your training. So when I work with coaches, the first thing I get them to do is I get them to evaluate how much it is or how much it costs for them to run their program. So when you look at evaluation of your, of your, of your training, you've got to take into account the, the money it takes to get to and from the session, the money it takes to run the session, okay, and the amount of time that it's taking for you to get there and back every session, right? Just because when we, when we look at time, just because time doesn't take away from our, uh, it, so we say it doesn't eat away from our bank account, that doesn't mean we're not losing money on time. Okay, so how can we now evaluate where we say, right, do you know what? I'm, I'm traveling too far for these training sessions and I'm losing money as a result of gas or petrol that I'm, I'm losing getting to and from those, those venues. All right, so if you want to increase your price at the price you know you're training, you have to look at and you have to evaluate how much okay, it's, ta it's costing you to run your training sessions. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is assessing the market trends. So something that I get a lot of coaches to do and something that I do on a, on a daily basis when I get into my office is I, I research the market. Right? If you have a look at previous videos I made, I talk about the markets in the US, I talk about the markets in the UK, in Australia. Um, I'm in the process now of creating content specific for coaches in Ireland. So I do a lot of research in our industry because I want to see what is trending so that any coach that I work with has a head start on any of their competition. So you have to do a, a research in your local market to see what coaches are charging for their training. If your coaching is potentially too expensive, then that means that maybe the, the target market that you are trying to attract can't afford your services. So sometimes instead of making it cheaper, we have to find a way of adapting to the market. Okay, so that might be changing up your training sessions. That might be instead of doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, we do group training where it can become more affordable for your target market. Right, so there's a number of ways that we, we can increase our price or we can change our prices depending on the market trends in your local area. Now, the third one is evaluation of your training demand. Okay, so when coaches work with customers, okay, depend, and they want to increase their pricing, the first thing I get them to think about is, right, is there a demand for your training? If there is a demand for your training where you're selling out your camps, you're selling out your group training, you're selling out your one-to-ones, okay, then that means there's a high demand for what you offer. Now, that could mean that maybe you're, you're very cheap compared to your, your market, or it might just mean that you offer so much value that parents want to and are attracted to training and working with you, okay? So, when you want to increase your price, you have to see if the demand is there to be able to increase it. A lot of coaches just want to increase pricing because they want to increase pricing. But it comes down to a, a number of factors. It comes down to what is the value 
that your training provides and also is there a demand for your training at the moment okay so value depends on what is it that you're doing differently to your competition in your area in your city in the country you're in and also is there demand for my training am i consistently selling out my training sessions my group sessions if there's a demand then any new customer that comes in then we increase the pricing okay now number four okay is communication so communicating to current customers or new customers about price increases now i can't speak for every single coach out there but i can only share with you the things that i did within my business when it came to increasing price so what i would do okay at the start of every school year so i'm based in the uk so it would be every september there was a price increase in my training academy. Now, with current customers, or customers that have been with me for, for quite a while, okay, that price increase would be very small. It would be a very minimal increase. Now, with new customers, that price increase would be depending on inflation, depending on the market, and depending on demand. Okay, so the price increase was all over. Every customer had that price increase, but customers that are already with me, that, that price increase was very minimal compared to brand new customers that came in and paid the new price. Okay, so how do you communicate this to parents? So the way I did it with my business is I would send out this was a month or two in advance that there will be changes to the way our company or our academy runs from september okay so that way i get parents uh, i get parents prepared for the changes that we are going to make in the the start of the upcoming season which our season was in september so i would communicate that through the email or a text message and then once that price increase came okay that was something that i communicated individually to parents and i explained the reasons why that price increase was being implemented i explained the reasons why that price increase was um shall we say affected okay because the the value that my our, our program or our company provided was in line with the, the, the price increase and the increase in the market in terms of inflation and what other uh, companies in the local area were charging. Okay, But again, remember, for current customers, the price increase was minimal. For new customers, there was a gradual increase just because they're new customers and that went more in line with inflation and what the market was driving now the fifth one is offering alternatives so most of my training was in groups or is in groups so when you work with clients in group training okay that normally is a more affordable option for a lot of parents now if you're a one-to-one -one trainer okay, and you're looking for that price increase i always say to trainers that i work with that are offering one-to-one -one sessions, make sure your one-to-ones are more expensive than your groups. So for the ones that can't afford your one-to-one -one training, we then move them into, into groups. Okay, so offering alternatives to parents that can't afford a certain service in your program is a way of keeping them with you and offering them a more affordable alternative. Now, what I did is if my group training and this this might be something you guys might be aren't asking is right all my, my program is entirely group training i don't offer one-to-one -one. how can i offer an alternative okay well that's where your camps or clinics come in so if you've got a weekly group training program that you're running that is the the main product or service that you offer okay maybe setting up a clinic or a camp once a month 
where parents can come and they train with you for, for 90 minutes or an hour and you work on a specific area of the game, this service could be a little bit more affordable for those parents. So if you're charging $100 or £100 per month for group training, okay, your camps or clinics might be $20 or $30 a month for once, for once a month. Okay, because you can turn the, the clinics or camps into a service as well. Right now, if you need more help with your soccer slash football training business, I am currently working one-on-one -on -one with coaches. And if you want any help with your business in terms of branding, marketing, setting up, um, building a play recruitment process system, Okay, any help that you want with your business, I do have a service which I can offer you. But the first step to, to do is to visit the description below this video. We've got to set up a call together to see if I can help you in your training business. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content.